For that, we'll go to Kayla Tausche. Hi, Kayla. Hey, Carl. The White House is weighing the possibility of a short-term extension to avoid a default on June 1st and buy more time to negotiate an appropriate outcome with Republicans, according to four sources familiar with the matter. While publicly, the Biden administration and congressional Republicans have suggested that option is not preferable, my sources have described it as a last resort or a fallback option. And even one source called it the prevailing possibility, given how little time there is between now and the earlier date the Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen has set for a possible default. Two of these sources familiar with the matter say it's part of the White House's menu of options should the calendar get closer to the X date with no deal. But the question is how long an extension the parties could even agree on because it takes both parties to agree on that and what Republicans would require to support it. GOP senators this week have rejected the idea of a 30-day extension. And remember, House Republicans bill cutting spending and reversing many of President Biden's signature policies would already only bump the debt deadline into 2023. Now, I'm told one likely time frame would see the debt ceiling raised into the early fall so that both sides have several months to reach a separate agreement on full year government spending. Remember, the full year uh, government funding runs out on September 30th. The Biden administration's budget director yesterday acknowledged that all options are on the table. Of course, there's that big meeting at the White House on March 9th with the core four, the top congressional leaders. Uh, and of course, both sides say publicly that they would like to reach a deal on the intractable positions that both sides have laid out. But you have to imagine behind the scenes, and now we know from sources that they are, Carl, Morgan, guys, uh, actually discussing what an alternative option might look like. Uh, speaking of the alternatives, Kayla, how do you explain to people some of the other fallback scenarios people are discussing? The discharge petition, uh, the 14th Amendment to the Constitution. Uh, how do those play here? Well, logistically, Carl, those are really hard options to execute on. But this is the White House and congressional Democrats communicating to Republicans, or at least attempting to communicate, we don't need you to avert a default. We have other options at our disposal. But when I talk to sources uh, about the discharge petition, it's very difficult from a time frame perspective to execute on that before June 1st, even if it's able to get across the finish line. And on the 14th Amendment, when I talk to people familiar with the matter on that option, they note that it would run into some legal uncertainty, and that's not really going to help the markets. That's not going to solve the problem of having the interest rates on treasuries skyrocket as you get closer to that June 1st date. And if there's any uncertainty in the market that Treasury could go to auction and sell more debt, then that's really putting the administration back at square one. So even though publicly the White House wants to appear that it's putting all of these options on the table behind the scenes logistically, I think there's real doubt being cast on the viability of them. Kayla, great reporting. Uh, Kayla Tausche on the debt ceiling today. Such an important story for the markets at large.